Hey guys, what's up? For today's tutorial, we will going to learn how to convert a GrowFX animation into a V-Ray animated proxy with point cache. So let's get started. Alright, so let's say you've already animated this GrowFX plant. So we already added this one on our previous tutorial. This will be just a shortcut for how to convert it into a V-Ray animated proxy so let's record it with a point cache let's add point cache modifier and then let's um, save this one new So I already made one, but we'll just replace it. And then our time frame is around 300, but let's just make it into 200. So it will be fast for calculating the point cache. And then hit record. So as you can see here in the catch info, it's calculating the frames from 0 to 200. So that depends on your animation if you want it to 0 to 250. But for now, we'll just do it for 0 to 200. So it's calculating now, just hanging up. Alright, so it's all done. So let's check the point cache. So now it's already one one gig file. All right, so let's convert it now to a mesh. But before that we'll copy this one, the point cache, and then convert to mesh. Alright, so let's delete this one. So as you can see there's no animation yet. And then let's space that point cache. All right. All right, so there you go. So this one, since we record it to 200, it will end up here. All right. Okay, so we'll just set the time frame to 225 frames. 200. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna convert it to um, V-Ray animated proxy for your Flytra animation. All right now we're in V-Ray now because before it was in Corona. Okay, so now let's go to V-Ray mesh export. So we'll just right click V-Ray mesh export and then export animation. So each export each select object. Yeah export animation so you can just change this one to 200 and then I'm going to create proxy and then browse where you want to save your proxy that's here and then let's click OK. So it will calculate again the frames in converting it into a proxy. So I'll just pause the video again we'll get back after it's being calculated all right so it has done calculating now and now let's see if the animation is still there 
Alright, so let's click the display into show whole mesh. And then it should be okay from 0 to 200. Say we point cat oh point and let's duplicate this one, do some test. Alright, so I'm gonna pause it again for the preview. Okay, so here's the preview now for the Vue animated proxy. So as we can see, it's pretty good. There's no, f um, there's nothing wrong with the proxy when we converted it. So yeah, that's how you convert it to uh, from GrowFX to Vira Animated Proxy. Hope you learned something on this tutorial. And thank you for watching and don't forget to click the bell button for new tutorials. Thank you.